What's up everybody? My name is Derek and I'm not sure if I've mentioned it before but I'm actually filming this in Tokyo, Japan and I'm in this studio, one room of many for this studio today on a gorgeous canary yellow drum kit uh, a color I may not choose if I were to pick one out myself but still, gorgeous color and I'm going to be performing on this drum kit the new grooves that we have for Groove Freedom February 2018 and this month we have what Mike Johnston is calling the Samba Stall. So he's taken the Samba and built in just a little bit of anticipation into the Samba. And so after I perform these grooves for you, I'd like to share with you how I think about ostinatos of different lengths and how approaching ostinatos of different lengths could impact and help the way you practice and break down these grooves. Okay, so now that we've had a chance to listen to those grooves, let's break it down just a little bit. Your typical samba is going to have an ostinato on the feet, which is one beat in length, where you have the kick drum on one uh, and you have the hi-hat on the upbeats. One, a two, a three, a four, a one. So with the samba stall, what we're doing is we're taking the downbeat of beat two and just plucking that out of the groove entirely, which means that the length of the ostinato goes from one beat to four beats, or one full measure, which it won't repeat until you get through that entire measure. So I think this can be really interesting to think about the length of an ostinato, because typically you're going to have ostinatos that are one beat in length. Take for example, one and a two, one and a two and a three and a four and a one, which almost becomes just a motion with the hand. And it can be, can be burned into muscle memory fairly easy once you get comfortable with that motion. But now if you take that, take a one beat ostinato and make it into a four beat ostinato, suddenly the motion isn't there anymore. And it's gonna take a little bit more time to get used to playing a pattern that doesn't repeat until that entire measure. And so this is one of the things that can be challenging when you're looking at playing grooves and ostinatos. Is the length of the, of the, the groove uh, ostinato one beat, or is it two beats, or is it four beats long? So if you take a look in Groove Freedom, in the World Grooves chapter, besides the samba, we also have the tumbao, which is a two beat ostinato. One, a two, and one, a two, and one, a two, and one. The bio, one and a, and one and a two, and one and a two, and one and a two, and. And so if you take a look at these, you'll see the length of the ostinato differs from groove to groove. And this can be one of the ways in which grooves get more challenging than you may expect. So the next time you look at a groove in Groove Freedom, you may want to take a look and see how long is the ostinato in beats and focus on internalizing that a little bit more. I hope these grooves are fun and challenging for you and you have a chance to practice them. Please share your feedback with us. We'd love to hear it. And we will be back next month in March with some more great new grooves for Groove Freedom.